and girls. Uh, time to do a quick beer review. And you'll have seen from my map. It's from uh, David Cheshire Albro. He uh, very kindly sent me a couple of beers. Sent me a, a Wilco's uh, wheat beer, which is what we're going to do now. And he also sent me a American barley wine, 11%. Uh, and I've not, to be honest, I've not really had any barley wine, so looking forward to that one. Just looking at his notes that he sent. It's a uh, Bull Cold Wheat Beer, 4.6%, and I'm pretty sure it's the twin. Stop doing it now. The twin can kit, and they've, they've done it in the new range. They've got, they've got a black and they've an IPA, they've got a, a single can wheat with it. Don't think they do this as a double uh, can kit anymore, but I could be wrong. Uh, Cheshire on bottled on the 12th of the 10th, 2016, 4.6%. Uh, and I do like a wheat bit, I really do, so I'm looking forward to this. And we've got the old uh, Erdinger glass. Now we're a good one. Plenty of can and smoke. And just as a footnote on there, he's got the. He did it the beer on beer. So. that a minute to calm down and I'll come back to you. Right fellas, we're, uh, we're back and we've got it under control <laughs> and it's lovely, it's uh, crystal clear but saying that I've uh, purposely not put me yeast in yet. Uh, Oh, I'd, I'd try it with as little yeast as possible and see what the kit is like and then I'm going to tip it in and uh, try it with yeast in. Uh, like I say, I do like a wheat beef. I uh, really do like my ear diggers, old gardens, any wheat beef. Uh, I'm a big fan of them, really big fan of them. Uh, but I've only ever made one. Straight away, I can smell it, and it has definitely, definitely got a, a wheat beer aroma. You are getting a, a slight banana -y aroma, but that's really all you get. I can't really seem to pick any. There's no cloves or like that but definitely banana -y. aroma coming off that and it's a very very pretty beer so give it a taste Six. And at 4.6, if you really like your wheat beers, then you could really could smash a few of them. I know I could. Um, but going back to it, you've got this 
definitely a wheat beer flavour. I don't know how to describe it. A bit bubblegummy, a bit banana -y. All your typical wheat beer flavours you'd expect you've got and for a kit beer. And if we're honest, I think your Wilkinsons, the more on your budget end of your kit beers as well. So let me know whether it was a twin can or whether it was a single can one of the two. Because I'd be tempted to do that. That'd be lovely on uh, on tap on my bar. Especially in summer, that'd be spot on. So it was just a quick one, just to uh, showcase David's beer. And it's the spot on beer. Really good. Really recommend it. Check it in my comments. I'm sure David will tell us whether it was a twin can kit or a single can kit. And then, if you fancy a wee bit, I would recommend that. Uh, but before we go, now I've had a bit. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, David. Catch you next time.